Hi, my name is Zico and I'm a technical specialist at Pico Technology. In this Pico Log 6 video, we'll be going through custom scaling and channel maths. To demonstrate custom scaling, we'll be using the Pico Log 1216 data logger. This is part of the Pico Log 1000 series of data loggers, which is a low cost, high speed, multi channel data logger that can take up to 16 channels up to 12 bits resolution and can measure 0 to 2.5 volts. So to demonstrate custom scaling we'll be using the power supply and we'll be feeding in a um, 8 volt signal into the actual Picolog 1000 uh, which is higher than its input range but we'll be using this terminal board over here and we've got a couple of resistors in there that are dividing the voltage by 4. Um, we've got a couple of cables here going into channel 10 which is where the potential divider is happening. So actually plug the Picolog 1000 terminal board into it, plug the unit in and I'll feed in the crocodile clips there. So as you can see the Picolog 1000 unit appears on the screen so what we'll do is now add the actual channel and it's on channel 10, we select channel 10 and then click on add channel. So we'll increase the voltage to say approximately 8 volts. And as you can see on the screen we're getting 2 volts. So the actual physical potential divisor is doing its work. So now what we need to do is do some custom scaling. So if I go back to channel 10 and click on it, go to advanced options, select custom scaling, there's two types of scaling, there's equation and table. We'll start off with equation. So go input multiplied by 4 and the return units will leave as is because it's still measuring voltage but you can vary the return units if you require and click on save changes and as you can see the voltage has changed accordingly the next type of um, scaling is the table so if we go back into the actual channel and then select channel 10 again and then we can now change custom scaling to be from equation to table. Now in this case you need at least two pairs so we'll do raw space scaled. So we'll start off with a minimum which is zero, space zero, so the raw is zero volts and the scale is zero volts and the maximum would be 2.5 volts and what we want to scale it up to which is 10 volts. So 2.5 space 10 we'll leave the units as is and then click on save changes and as you can see it still remains scaled correctly. To demonstrate mass channels we'll be using the USB Dr. DAC which is a low-cost multi-channel data logger, oscilloscope and signal generator. It has standard inputs which include a scope input, digital inputs and resistance inputs. It also has a number of built-in sensors which include temperature, light, sound level and sound waveforms. We also have a number of dedicated inputs which are a pH slash redox input and we have three external inputs where we can plug in either a temperature sensor, humidity sensor or an oxygen sensor. We also have uh, outputs so we have a signal generator and the digital inputs can also be used as digital outputs. So in this video we'll be using the DD100 temperature sensor and the DD101 humidity sensor to calculate dew point. So dew point is the temperature which air is saturated with water vapour. If the temperature drops below dew point water will condense on solid surfaces. So we'll be using input 1 with the DD100 temperature sensor and input 2 with a DD101 uh, humidity sensor. We can now plug in the unit into the USB port and as you can see the unit appears in the software. So we'll click on the icon or image of the, the Dr. DAC and on external input 1 we will select that and as you can see temperature automatically is detected and we will call that temp 
and external input 2, we'll click on that as well. And we'll call that relative humidity, we'll call it RH for short. And as you can see, we have the temperature and humidity appearing. And we could now add our third channel, which is the dew point channel. So if I click on the screen to minimize the image of the Dr. Dac, you can see the calculator there, which is where we input our math channels. So if I click on the calculator over there to uh, enable math channels, we'll call this dew point. And we'll input the formula for dew point, which is... And we'll change the units to be temperature and make sure it's on Celsius because this formula only works for Celsius and click on add channel and now we've got third channel giving us the dew point so I'll start by capturing some data and I'll go to the chart view you can now see three separate readings on one graph two of them are temperature and one of them is a percentage. So we can drag the RH one, which is in a percentage form, down, and you can see there it goes to a second axis. You can actually have up to four axes. This concludes this video on custom scaling and channel maths. For more information on the Picolog 1000 terminal board, please follow the link below for the Picolog 1000 terminal board manual. And for the dew point calculation, please follow the link below for the Dewpoint app note. Thank you for watching this video and look forward to seeing you in the next video.